What's up, AJ fams? Enemies J here. Today we're gonna to be playing with one of the most dangerous warriors in this game, Rexar. I mean, he's dangerous because he has his baby girl Misha, and I mean, he's one of the first characters that has a dual combination like this. So you're not only playing with him, but you're also controlling Misha. The cool thing about him is that he is a ranged warrior, so all the focus is really focused on Misha. Misha is the person who does your damage. Misha is the one who takes the damage. Rexar, since he is a ranged warrior, is um, a little squishy. Let's be honest, he is squishy. He's big and strong, but he's, he's a squishy man. He's being too many jelly donuts. But, <laughs> but that's okay. We are, we're going to work with him anyway. I think he is a great build, but you have to focus on him since he's a ranged warrior. Um, as a ranged warrior, which means that you're not the attacker. You're not, you're not taking a lot of damage personally. So actually, we're going to play him as a specialist. Even though he's a range warrior, I think he's an amazing specialist. And for two reasons I say that, you know, in all my videos, I always try to hit two abilities uh, that will highlight. Well, not two abilities, but two talents that will highlight what I'm talking about. So if we look at his level four, we can look at Easy Prey. Easy Prey, Misha does 156, 150 percent million damage. Oh um, man, she also does that to minions, mercenaries, and building structures. And she takes 50% less damage from them. And then at level 7, Rexar's Bird of Prey gets a 300% boost to anybody who's not a heroic enemy. I mean, that's pretty much just destined to tell you that your job, or what you can, or what you can potentially become, and that's the build we're going to focus on, is destroying camps, destroying main bases, and really putting pressure on the... Uh, on the opposite team by destroying structures so we're gonna get into this match quick so we can see how well this build works and i hope this build turns out as great as i think it is because i'm super excited i played with it before and i think it's awesome so let's get right into it and see how how monstrous rexar can be as a specialist and not as a range warrior All right, family, so we are focusing this ability or this build on Dragon Shire. Like I said, our main focus in this build is to definitely take over camps, destroy minions, and uh, destroy structures. So we're really going to focus on pushing back the defense and keeping them on their toes. To do that, we're going to start off with Hunter Gatherer. It is a uh, passive ability that your health automatically re regenerates 1% faster. So that's going to be perfect. Okay, gotcha. All right, we got you. He gonna he gonna hold his own. That's fine. I always try to be very talkative in my uh. <laughs> I always try to be very talkative with my teammates so let them hold their own. Oh my gosh, that's why I give us sitting here talking. We I got one guy trying to mess with us. I don't know what he's thinking. Since we got a teammate, we're gonna sit here and try to do some work on him. We usually we don't we're not gonna we're not gonna sit around and do a lot of fighting. We're really just gonna focus on um, playing our lane and doing damage. Let Misha take the lead and really just sit here and build up XP. That is that is um ironically that is where Rexar shines. Like I said, it is it is a different playstyle, but he does shine here. I don't I don't know what what he's trying to do. <laughs> He's a healer, man. I, I mean, we're not the strongest, but we can put up our own battle. But we are starting to take a little damage, so we're gonna we're gonna heal we're gonna heal Misha. And we're gonna pull it all back. Keep on working. Keep on working these minions. Keeping them at bay. Keeping them at bay. Go ahead and get Misha back here. Get some health going. We're gonna help activate the shines because we are, like I said, I. Our goal is not to be a fighter, but to be a great uh, defensive player. But if we have a teammate here who can help us do some damage, we might be able to get a kill before he even gets away. <laughs> Go ahead and grab that for a skill. Let her hang on to herself real quick. I gotta get some health. So, so she might have to hold on for a second. No need to go out there and just die, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll go back in here and push this. Cause it's like she was trying to push it. Oh, they have an invisible character, which is even better. Cause um, I like invisible characters. They're so squishy. Come on back here, Misha. What you doing, baby? <laughs> but as we're gonna ask right now, early game, we just gonna keep on working on our mean kills, getting the levels up. Cause we need to get to level four 
so Misha can start doing 150% towards minions. We don't want to try to push anything until we know for sure that uh that we're strong enough to do so. So while they're up there handling that with the dragon, we're gonna stay that here and keep doing damage. We're gonna pull Misha back before she die. Keep her nice and safe. Now, so now, now since we're at level four, we can actually focus on getting Misha her easier prey, where it boosts all her attack 150% to anything that is not a hero. So we are gonna be able to do massive damage, as you can see already, that she's gonna do to everybody else, and she takes 50% less damage. So we should be able to destroy these cannons fairly easy. Um, while they're focused on the dragon up there. So while they focus on the dragon, we're doing our job. We're pushing through. We're going to continue to add pressure. That's what we're going to do. If teammates need help in group battles, we will help them depending on if uh, we see that they're losing or not. We'll definitely show some support there. And at the moment, we're just going to keep beating on um, these structures to keep pressure on them. Looks like our teammates are actually getting pushed back, so we may need to go up there and um, give some backup. Let's see what's happening on there. Yeah, our teammates are getting pushed back. It is a two on four. Um, I hate to leave them there, but that's really nothing that we can do in the two on four situation. None of our teammates are dying, but we are forcing, we are going to force them to come and play some, uh, play some defense because they seem to, they seem to forget, completely forget about us. <laughs> but this is our job. Um, like I said, Rexar can be a nasty, a nasty specialist, especially if we sleep on him at level seven. We are doing great. Looks like we may have somebody trying to sneak up behind us. Nope. It is our own minion, so we are doing great. We are going to keep pushing through. A level 7 Rexar gets Bird of Prey, which does 300,000 300, damage to anybody who isn't uh, a hero. Looks like we got a few issues going on here with this man. He, he's having an identity crisis. And we got we got old lady coming after us, so we're actually going to have to try to get out of here really fast. I think pulling back, we pulled back at a good time to make sure that we're safe. We got teammates coming down here to help us. We're gonna chase him back, hit him with a stun. We all, we actually might better get this kill off. Oh, uh, we could. Oh, uh, we gonna be able to push this. I hate invisible cactus. Oh, and we did get our first death because I did not see her coming. Um, but our teammate did also pull out the first kill. Be careful. Oh my god, I can't spell. Be careful. Invis at bot. Definitely keep our teammates informed on what's happening. Because an invisible character is never fun to play around with. But, I mean, we have what we need now. So at this time, we're actually going to take this opportunity and start pushing camps. Once we hit level 7, um, like we did and got both of our characters' special abilities, we can start, after we play the objectives, we can start pushing the camp and make sure that uh, he was able to get away. Oh, no, he wasn't able to get away. And make sure... That we are able to put continue to put pressure on them. So our build is all about putting pressure. And since we do have one kill here, we're gonna go down here and grab this uh, bruise account at this time before um, the enemies can come back and even know what happened to them. Just since we do extra damage to everything, me and Misha, we'll grab these bruise, bruise accounts really fast and get back to the objective before the enemies even get there, which the enemies actually are there now. So we're actually going to head back up at this time and get some backup to the bottom. Oh no, our partner died. I did not notice that. Oh, oh she got away. <laughs> she got away before we can grab her. We're actually going to change this. Make sure they don't get the dragon camp. Because she was fearing for her life, so she got out of there. As you see, look, we completely, at this level, completely can wreck a whole line of minions in one blow. Oh, um, we're actually gonna go ahead and push back and start collecting the other camps while we have both bases. We're gonna go ahead and push this camp too. Collect these because we should be able to run through these pretty quickly and get back if we need to to capture the other base. And like I said, this build is great because it's really all about putting pressure. Rexar can pretty much help hold down any camp by himself uh, with no issues at all. We're gonna grab Beast or Wrath that boosts this. Uh, Misha's attack a lot and make her really strong. It's a great, it's a great uh, special. It also gets even better as time goes. As we see our minions are putting in work, we're also gonna go ahead and grab all these. 
because at this level, like I said, this build is all about taking camps, killing minions, and destroying bases, keeping the pressure on the uh, offensive team, and make sure that they know that we are boss and we will continue to wreck them unless they do something different. They're actually ready to try to take the objective now, so we're gonna have to run down here and um, give some backup. <laughs> he got out there. He got out there really quick. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit him with that, but I missed him. <laughs> That's all right, we'll go ahead and grab these, hold on to these. We'll keep the minions, we see our minions here are pushing through and they're actually forcing the other team to stay back and help out. So that's actually playing in our favor. We're actually about to grab the dragon again, which is great. So our, our team is playing really well. And since we now are grabbing the dragon, I'm gonna go ahead and push up and see if I can collect the other minions while the dragon does their work. So we're gonna go over here because these minions should be free to grab. We're gonna grab on. We're gonna steal that minions before they even know that we took them. Gosh, this build is so great. I don't know if y'all noticed this, but but these minions, these camps are, are dying out really fast. We want to make sure we hit as many as we can, and definitely wipe them out as fast as possible. Because it looks like they may. Nope, they don't notice we're here. So we're gonna go ahead and continue to steal this and take this camp as well. So now we have three out of the four camps that are on the game. So we're going to run up in the left corner and grab this, this fourth camp while our teammates are continuing to do their thing. Maybe we can help push here. Do we want her to get away from us? Uh, it looks like she might. We're not going to let this healer get away. We're going to hand kill him really quick. Come on back, Misha. We got a bigger, we got a bigger thing to handle right now. <laughs> we are doing well. We got, we got three kills, one death. We're doing 17,000 siege damage, 6,000 XP. Um, contribution. We are t we are still taking the most damage in rolls, so we are playing our role well at the same time. I'm gonna get Misha to help me out a little bit because they are starting to slap me and it's hurting. <laughs> it looks like it looks like we got main man coming to help us, but by the time he get here, we're done. I mean, that's what's so uh, monstrous about this this build is that we have pretty much taken every single camp on the map. Eat hours and the enemy. So now we're at level 13. We're gonna grab Wildfire. Wildfire Bear. Wildfire Bear is a passive AOE move that Misha will use, and she will continue to damage enemies around her. And um, hold on one second. Sorry, I got a little called up. Let me make sure the teammates are okay. Oh, um, she'll continue to grab enemies around, damage enemies around her, to make sure that uh, nothing else comes through. We're gonna send Misha out there, let Misha put in some work. Misha, at this point, can do a lot of damage because we did use her special ability. Misha is getting hurt, so we're gonna try to pull her back before she dies. We need some help here. We're gonna have to ask for a little backup, a little, a little reinforcements because they are pushing through, which is not safe at all. They did pull back, but we need to get down to the bottom quickly so we can play our defense. Since these minions did pop up, I'm gonna take the advantage now and grab these minions really fast to keep the pressure on them. Because as we can see here, our minions are still doing their work and doing their own thing, which is awesome. We do have these minions now. So we're gonna rush down to the bottom and help play the objective because it looks like our teammates are jumping them two on one. But we're gonna make sure we do a little push and make sure that, uh, that, that she doesn't get away. Or oh, I thought we were. Come on back. Come on back, Misha. It's not worth it. We're actually gonna take our time here and go push this next camp and make sure we can collect it because that's our job is to collect camps do siege damage keep doing their thing they're on their way to the game okay so we got to make sure they don't collect that kill them as fast as possible go ahead and collect them real quick keep see that's the job job we're playing i mean the job that we're doing we we're gonna keep putting pressure on them. Looks like we got two of them coming down here to the bottom. We're not gonna be able to take that by ourselves. That's not our role. And we're not gonna be able to actually capture that right now because we were able to capture that. Oh, there's 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 three here. No, we're not we're not gonna play with that. <laughs> we're gonna leave that one alone. We're gonna leave that one alone. Looks like they gotta play and try to do some damage to me. But we're not gonna let that happen. We're gonna stay in the back. <laughs> Looks like they looks like they're feeling pretty looks like they're feeling pretty good, so they're gonna try to push up. But I'm gonna let Misha I'm gonna let Misha make them get back. Go ahead and call Misha back to me. So we can try to take this back over before they get back here. 
We do have a teammate that came down to help us out, which is good. Push him back. And while we have this base, we are going to go down and try to take this minion camp to put more pressure on them again because that is our job. That is what we're doing. This is, I'm showing you a new way of being a hero, of playing a warrior. It's awesome. It's awesome. I can arguably say that Rexar should not be considered a warrior. He should be considered a specialist because as much damage as he does to everything, it's amazing. It's amazing how well he can play, how well he can jungle and play the map very well. So at this point, uh, we're going to get Faint Death. Faint Death is that, <laughs> what's the best way to play it? Is that Rexar fakes his death um, for five seconds? He doesn't take any damage, and then you can control Misha, which is awesome. Our minions are pushing up. We are take we pretty much taking this whole side with no problem. He's gonna run back because he's not gonna be able to take all of us. Um, so we're gonna sit here and start breaking down their stuff, not letting them uh, do any damage to us. We're gonna call Misha back, get Misha out of there. Oh, we're not safe, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get out of here. We might have to feign our death. Um, a lot earlier than I thought, but they actually left us alone, which is great. It's because our minions are pushing up, so it was able to keep the eyes off us. I got a little worried about for me and Misha right there. Actually, not gonna. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> I'm tripping out. I'm tripping out right now. <laughs> I need to see where the enemies are. All the enemies are here in the mid because our dragon is doing work. He's handling his business. We're gonna sit here and push these minions back. We're gonna, cause we're gonna work our way back up here with these minions to push them through. We're actually demolishing this team really well. We are beating them 18 to 15, 13 to 7 deaths. We are pushing really well. The enemies aren't here, so we should be able to take care of this really fast. We're gonna go ahead and send Misha back out there, let her do her work. We'll destroy this fountain really quick. Um, the enemies are coming, so we're gonna get up out of here before they can uh, do any damage to us. Cause I know she's gonna try to chase me, but I mean it's got our back. <laughs> Since the camps are back up, we're gonna go play our role. We're gonna continue to push the camps. We are doing 30,000 damage to siege damage, but we are playing exponentially well and everything else. Looks like she got tired of us playing around, so I'm gonna go ahead and let Misha uh, put in some work on her. And I'm gonna fake my death to allow Misha to do, uh, do as much damage as possible. Misha is going to die, and I probably won't make it out of this because I wasn't expecting the rest of the team to show up. Um, so, yeah, we actually did get our second death. I was not expecting. I love I love faint death, but the whole team came. I mean, you can't do anything until the team comes, right? I mean, I guess I could have. No, no. Yeah, I was dead. <laughs> the bad part about Rexar is that he has no way of escaping, um, escaping the team. The team, if they pretty much come at you, they're going to attack you. And he has no escape moves other than Misha's stun. But, I mean, when you're trying to escape and then trying to use Misha's stun, it becomes very complicated. Looks like our teammates here are actually about to, looks like we're about to lose one. Looks like we actually might lose them both um, due, to the, due to the fact that they did get jumped. It looks like our girl Vala is trying to get out of here. She, she probably can make an escape. I don't think they'll catch her in time. She's pretty speedy. She's pretty speedy. Okay, hold it down. Hold it. Hold it down. You say you got top, so hold it down. We're gonna head to bottom as soon as we come back. We have we do have one second left. We're just gonna hold back for a second and go ahead and come on back and get back into battle. There is a camp that's available in the top right corner, but at the moment we're gonna have to play the objectives so we can make sure that we get the dragon. Cause the dragon is the key to everything. If you didn't know the dragon was the key to success, then you never played this game in your life, and I'm ashamed of you because it's free. So you need to get it. You see the serious face? Our teammate's gonna hold it down. Um, maybe. I'm, I'm gonna take a little peek. We do have one coming, so we are gonna have to watch him. Oh, she didn't make it. So I did. I'm gonna go ahead and get this kill, because I want her dead. I think that was well worth it. Um, we're gonna try to get out of here before she can do anything to us, because she is a really hard tank to conquer. I don't know if we're actually able to take this base from her, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to take this base from her. Do some see try to hold off to our teammates get here give us a backup looks like she's gonna try to escape i wonder if i can get misha to catch her and actually she died anyway which is awesome oh oh no we're gonna have to run away that's just way too many retreat retreat get out of there it's not safe <laughs> it is not safe 
It was not safe anymore. There was just way too many people there. Maybe if they don't notice us, we can head to the bottom and capture this camp before they even know that we took it. That's what we're going to do at the moment since we still do have one of the bases. We are at level 20 now, so um, I recommend getting Spirit Bound. Spirit Bound increases Misha's special attack and she heals Rexar in the process. So that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. My head was just itching right there. I love me some Misha. So we did capture this base because, I mean, like I said, that's that's what this that's what this build is all about is capturing bases. We're going to go ahead and capture this objective as well to make sure that they don't get it. Um, as soon as this objective is captured, I'm about to, I'm going to go ahead and try to steal this camp. I'm going to head over there and steal this camp. I let her know that I was going to go take the camp. That way she'll stay there. We do have five seconds here, so I'm actually going to hold out here for a second and wait to see if anybody comes. And if not, we're going to go ahead and capture this one as well and continue to put pressure on them because it's going to require the teammate, the other team to keep pushing back. I mean, look how fast we're look how fast we're capturing this base. Like this is this is this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Rexar is a monster when it comes to jungling. He is he is a beast. The best jungling man in the world who's not even considered a jugger, a juggler, a jungler. That's that's such an awkward term to use. Go ahead and capture this one as well, because we're gonna take theirs and make sure they don't get it. Ah, uh, all the bad things, you never know when somebody might try to sneak up on you, so, and like I said, Rexar's uh, weakness is, he can't, it's hard for him to get away from enemies. It looks like we are about to capture the dragon again, and we have these camps, so this match may be over, uh, just being honest, I'm gonna go ahead and capture this other camp. Oh wow, it looks like they're fighting really well to try to keep that top one, why to keep that top one, we're gonna keep the pressure on them, and we're gonna continue to catch all these camps. Because they're going to learn that uh, even if we don't need it, because we see here our minions are up here putting in work. They're right here at the end, and they're trying to do a final push by themselves. So we're going to kill this and send this last base that way. It looks like this may be game, so we're actually going to push. We have all the camps. We have the dragon, and we're about to push our way to the end, so we're going to push middle. With the dragon to see if we can go ahead and end this. We have played this game exceptionally well. Um, and, and pretty pretty dang on beautiful if I ask, if I say so myself. <laughs> We're gonna help try to push through. Looks like we got looks like we got one enemy trying to come up behind us. We're gonna go ahead and get her out of here. She used her special, but once that go away, it won't matter. <laughs> go ahead and get her out of here. We're gonna push through, push through well, going straight for the end. It's the final push here. We're gonna let Misha do some work. Let her hold them off while we finish off the bases. Go ahead and put this last damage here. This should give us the end just for the heck of it. I'm going to do a nice little faint death to make sure I don't die. So I'm going to pass out and let Misha do work all by herself. <laughs> just to make sure we get that victory. And I don't take any damage to the progress. Oh, it's going to be a close one. We're starting to get hurt. They're trying to push us back. I'm getting out of here just because it's not safe. Teammate came with Grateful Hill. But look, our minions... This is what's important right here. Our minions is doing all the work because we built them up. Our minions came in with the clutch. Great game. Good game. I can't tap good game. There you go. I got good game off. The minions came in and finished it by themselves because as Rexar, our goal in this build, and I think as a Rexar player, is to really change how you look at Rexar. And instead of playing him as a warrior, play him as if he was a specialist and build him to conquer the background game. Right, let your teammates handle the front. You handle the background game. You keep you continue to get camps. You continue to kill minions. You continue to do structure damage. I didn't do as much structure damage in this one because I was so focused on camps and helping with the objective. This map is a little different because of the objectives. But if we look at what we did, we got six takedowns, two deaths, we did forty-five thousand siege damage, thirty thousand um hero damage we did 30,000 hero damage and we wasn't even trying to do hero damage but just playing that team game allowed us to do that we did 49,000 um, damage overall with only two deaths where if we look at their defensive players she had four deaths and double the amount of us but i mean she had double the amount of deaths so it makes sense and we did 13,000 xp contributions so we was right up there with everybody else
Now, just to finish off this build and just kind of show you everything we did, level one, hunter gatherer, um, fast health regeneration, level four, easy prey, boost Misha's damage to everything that's not a hero by 150% and reduce her damage by 50%. Level seven, we're going to grab bird of prey, um, and that boosts Rexar's uh, spirit swoop 300% to anything that's not heroic demolishing uh, level 10 we're going to pit bistro wrath that gives misa the base attack damage that boosts 150 percent for 12 seconds level 13 we're going to grab wildfire bear that gives her a permanent aoe damage that does 12 damage per second to all nearby enemies level 16 faint death i think is one that one of uh Rexar's best moves in the game always you should always invest in this move it uh makes him fake his own death where he's invulnerable for five seconds and during that time you can control misha and let misha do all the work um and level 20 will complement faint move because level 20 misha gets an increase in her beast around by 50 percent and her basic attacks heals around 50 percent of damage dealt so while he's playing dead you're practically healing him and possibly killing killing the enemy at the same time it's a wonderful uh combination i think this build will be very useful for many people and i think you, if you're a definite rexar fan like i'm becoming i think this build would definitely show the potential as you use it more so as always i know i really appreciate you look, taking out this video if you enjoyed it hit the subscribe button join this family um this family focuses on three basic things good clean fun we are not just a community, but a passionate family of passionate gamers, and we have wonderful conversations um, down in the comments and behind the scenes on Twitter and all that. Um, we stay very interactive with each other, and I think it's a great way of building a strong um, gaming foundation that is for passionate gamers, casual and all. Um, if you love, if you really love the video. Which some of you may have, some of you may not. Definitely hit the like button or hit the thumbs um, thumbs down button if you did it. I mean, either way, feedback is welcome. I love feedback. It teaches me what I need to do from there, and I think it's awesome. And if you really enjoyed it, share it with a friend. That's plain simple. It's like I do. Share it with a friend. <laughs> but I appreciate you taking the time to enjoy this video today, hanging out with me today on this wonderful day. Um, I'm about to get off of here, and I'm about to go home. So I hope y'all have a beautiful day. And next time I see y'all friends, we'll get into some more gaming. Until next time, family. Take care. Oh.